What's going on guys and welcome to today's video and today we are finally getting some new parts on mom's new Jeep Wrangler JK and I guess it does look a little bit different than last time we uh, talked about this or the last video with this. We had the very um, interesting looking wheels. Um, we had some interesting headlights and taillights. Now my headlights still have not come in in the mail. I've got just some very normal looking LED headlights. They are just a high beam, low beam, no halos, no flashy lights, no flashy turn signals. It, it's just a high beam and a low beam and it's LED, but those have not shown up yet. But I have it currently on the um, cheap Jeep, my personal WJ, uh, my off-road wheels and tires that I threw onto this thing. So mom could drive it in the meantime. Um, this had 33 inch KO2s wrapped around. Again, some very interesting um, wheels. So those have since went by. I couldn't really bear to let her take it and drive it any with those interesting wheels on it. So like I said, threw these on and that's how she's been driving with a tire pressure light on her new to her Jeep. So today we are hopefully going to take care of the tire pressure light with putting her factory tire pressure sensors back in a set of wheels that I've got painted black for her, for her uh, wrapped back in her 33 inch KO2s that this Jeep had on it. Now, the issue with just bolting them on, the factory um, Rubicon size is a 32. Again, this had a 33 on it, and they were honestly a little bit tight in the wheel wells. Now, on the street, did it rub? No, but I wanted to add just a teeny bit of altitude under this thing. Um, a, so those 33s would fit. Um, I, I eventually foresee mom and dad coming out and at least trailing around. So I'd like those tires to be able to clear if and when they do come out and um, off-road. They have been off-roading before with me years ago, back when I had my Wrangler. Uh, mom had a Nissan Xterra that I had a little bit of lift on it. So they have been off-roading before. So I, I do foresee this thing seeing the trail um, in its future. So if we can clear those 33s better, that's what we'll be doing. Now, what lift are we putting on? A big, huge lift? No, we are doing the world's smallest JK Wrangler lift. Now, I hadn't even known of this lift until I was researching, you know, just little leveling kits or something just to get a little bit more altitude under this thing, again, to fit those 33s. But Rough Country makes a, not a one inch lift, but a 0.75 or three quarters of an inch lift for the JK. Now, yes, that seems ridiculously little and, and it is, but if we can get another three quarters of an inch or so under this thing, it will help to clear those 33s and it won't make it outrageously tall. This is mom's daily driver. She doesn't wanna to have to be climbing up a ladder to get into this thing every day. And she's already told me that. So that's why we've landed on the three quarters of an inch rough country spacer lift. It'll still work great with factory shocks. It, it will go on, it will drive no differently, but we'll have that little bit of clearance. So let's quickly look at a few of the other things that I've done here and then I will show you the parts and we'll get it in the shop and get these things bolted on. So guys, like I said, my new headlights are not here yet, but they are actively in the mail and coming to get rid of my halos. Again, it's just not my thing. Um, I've taken the, uh, there were a set of KC lights up on that that were not hooked up. Uh, those have come off and I still have plans to stubby this aftermarket bumper. We're going to cut this thing here, weld the end cap on, and then it will be a cool looking little stubby bumper. I think it will look better than what we've got working with right now. But other than just cleaning this thing up massively, I did treat all the plastics with Crea Coat, a new ceramic um, coating that goes on plastic. So we will definitely have to uh, keep an eye on those and see how those hold up. Now taillights, this again had some very interesting taillights on it. Um, I just put some OEM factory replacements, which I've always liked on a JK. I, I really don't mind. Now looking at our parts here, um, here is our rough country three quarters inch lift, which is absolutely tiny, but it's kind of cool getting at least a little more lift. Because on a Wrangler, when you pull up to somebody else at a stoplight, you want to be the taller Wrangler. And even if it's only by three quarters of an inch, you've got to be the taller Wrangler. So now when mom pulls up next to another stock JK, she's going to be a little bit taller. And in the Jeep world, 
that's all that counts. You guys know. Now to go with our teeny little spacer lift, we have a set of takeoff um, Rubicon JK shocks. Now, yes, they do have a few miles on them, but the Rubicon shocks are always cool because they are red. Um, now, last but not least, I did get a set of inch and a half hub centric wheel spacers. Now you wouldn't normally have to add wheel spacers to this setup, but the fact that the tires that were on this thing were 33 1250s um, is going to make me put wheel spacers on now that I'm going to be running factory wheels, if that makes sense. The aftermarket wheels hung out a ton, a huge offset. They poked out really far, which let the tire clear any of the suspension. Now that we're gonna be back on a factory wheel, we are going to have clearance issues. So inch and a half wheel spacer will poke them out just a little bit and it will clear fine, look good, and a nice quality hub centric wheel spacer is in my eyes a safe thing. Um, use your red Loctite on the hub um, or on the spacer lug nuts and then make sure everything's torqued. I've, I've currently, knock on wood, <laughs> never had any issues with correct fitting um, bolt on hub centric wheel spacers. So guys, enough talking, let's get this thing in the shop. I'm sure I'll just time lapse us throwing these little baby spacers on our cool red Rubicon shocks, and then uh, we'll get this thing on the ground. I will probably show you the wheels um, before we do that, but again, let's get this in the shop and let's get this taken care of. All right, guys, we've got this thing up in the air. We've got our inch and a half wheel spacers bolted on, um, lock tighted, just like you're supposed to, torqued down to 100 foot pounds, and we are ready to tear into this suspension. Now here are those 33 inch KO2s that originally came on it um, with my sport wheels that I picked up cheap, threw some satin black paint on them, and uh, for a quick paint job, they really don't look too bad. So we are going to pull shocks, springs through our little spacer and our Rubicon shocks on this thing and then jump to the rear.
And guys, just like that, in a relatively short amount of time, we've got a little bit more altitude on this thing, making those 33s fit, or at least have a little bit more room to breathe if and when this thing does actually make it off-road and can flex a little bit more than it would have um, previously. I just think those wheels or those tires would have been getting into the fender, so now it looks a little bit taller. So now anytime mom rolls up to a stoplight and there's another stock JK, she's gonna be that much taller. And like we all said at the end of the day, in the Jeep world, being any bit taller than the guy next to you, that's always a win in my book. <laughs> so guys, um, you can see our uh, sport wheels now that we've got thrown on here. And again, these were just silver stock sport wheels that I threw some satin black um, paint on there through a little self-etching primer and then our uh, satin black but man what a difference just a teeny bit of lift and our wheels and tires make now again once I can get rid of our halo headlights I'll feel even better about this thing and once we get that bumper cut down I will again be pretty happy but uh, yeah it's uh, what a transformation in you know one week's time from uh, what this thing originally looked like to now um, what else do we have lined up we've got our backup camera install um, we are going to have that integrated into the factory my gig screen radio so that will be very cool um, having it look basically factory and uh, we've got heated seats coming up on this thing. I haven't even ordered the kit yet because it is like 90 degrees here in Kansas, so it's kind of low priority. I'll, of course, wait until it gets closer to winter and then be in a rush to do it. But hopefully we'll be in the new garage and we'll actually have space to do it. So that will be a good thing worth waiting on. Um, again, our front bumper project needs to happen because that will look very cool. And uh, yeah, it's, it's coming together and it's kind of sad to me that my mother has a better off-roader than I do. You know, uh, it, she's already on larger tires than I am on my four inch lifted WJ. Um, yeah, I, I don't know what that says about me being the Jeep guy in the family and my mom having a Jeep with larger tires. I guess I need to reconsider my life's choices and uh, yeah. <laughs> So guys, thanks for coming into the shop today and getting a little bit of altitude and some new wheels and tires on Mom's Project JK, JK Rescue, as we've dubbed this thing. And uh, I think we're making a step in the positive direction or in the correct direction on making this thing look good on the road and hopefully eventually look good on some trails. So guys, as always, thank you so much for watching and we'll catch you guys next time.